Hi guys, welcome back to Great Time One. We are now on Unit 12 and let's talk about grammar. Yeah, we're on page 112 and we will talk about comparatives. Later on, as you can see in this image here, we will talk about superlatives too, but this is in another video. Okay, well, when we talk about comparatives, as the name says, it's because we want to compare a thing to another thing, right? For example, here I have two balls that I use to play with my cats, okay? We can see that they are different, but how can we describe these differences? Of course, I can talk about the color because one is red, the other one is blue, but what if I want to talk about the difference in their size? How can I describe that? Well, so I can say that the red ball is bigger than the blue ball, okay? And I can also say the opposite. For example, I can say that the blue ball is smaller than the red ball, okay? As you can see, I took the adjective small or big and then I added up er to the end of it. So it became bigger and smaller, all right? But is it always like this for all kinds of words? Well, no, there are some differences too. Now let's check. Here I have a book and a cell phone, okay? I want to talk about the price of them. So uh, how can I talk about that? The cell phone is more expensive than the book, okay? Also, the opposite is, is true. Uh, the book is cheaper than the cell phone. What happens here? Expensive is a long word, right? So, to make a comparative, we say more expensive. But cheap is a short word, so we only add ER to the end of it, just like we did to bigger and smaller, all right? What if I want to talk about how interesting I think they are? Uh, for example, to read a good story, to, to get inspired by a beautiful poem, I think the book is more interesting than the cell phone, okay? But, for example, to watch a video or to take a picture, the cell phone is more interesting than the book because, of course, a book cannot do this, okay? So, these were some examples for you to understand how to use uh, comparative adjectives, all right? Now let's take a look at the book and the activities we have there, okay? Right, everyone. So now uh, we are on page 112 of your book, and this is exercise number one from the grammar section, okay? Now, to do this, you have to read the text that is on page 111, the one about bikes that we already read before, but it would be good for you to read again and remember what they say, all right? After that, according to what they say in the text, let's choose the sentence that is not true, okay? So let's read them together. Number one, bikes are cheaper than public transportation. Number two, bikes are healthier for you than cars. Number three, cars are more dangerous than bikes. And number four, bikes are better than other types of transportation. Well, if you read the text, you will see that according to them, uh, bikes are a little bit more dangerous than cars because you need to wear a helmet, you need to wear protection, uh, you have to be very careful to uh, not get hit by a car. You have to pay attention when crossing a street using a bike, right? So, according to that, 
Number three would be the false sentence, the sentence that is not true. Let's check. That's it. And then what else can we see here? We can see that when we have a long word like dangerous, we use more. And also when we compare two things like bikes and transportation, bikes and cars, cars and bikes, bikes, types of transportation, right? We always use this word too. Cheaper than, healthier for you than, more dangerous than, and better than. Okay? Right, so this is for us to understand a little bit more how to use the comparatives. Let's move on now to the next activity. All right, guys, so here on exercise two, what you have to do is read and complete what's missing there. We have the adjectives on one column, and then you have the comparative on the next column. Then, in this third column, they are using uh, then to remember you, to remind you that you should also use it when you write a sentence, okay? So, uh, there's one thing that we should also pay attention here. For example, the word big, uh, when it turns into a comparative, it becomes bigger with double G, right? What happens there? This word ends up in consonant, B, vowel, I, consonant, G. Okay, every time that this happens, we should double the final consonant. That's why it has double G here. Okay, now easy. Easy ends up in a consonant and a Y. Okay, also every time we have this situation, a consonant and a Y, we take off the Y and then turn it into I. After that, we add ER, as we would do with other short, short words uh, to make the comparative form. Okay? So pay attention to these things I just explained. Try to do it yourself, and then in a second I'll go back to show you the answers. All right? Okay, so let's see what we have here. Cheap became cheaper. Big, bigger, double G, as we already said. Easy, easier. We took off the Y and added up I, E, R, right? Healthy, the same thing. We took off the Y and added, added I, E, R, okay? Expensive is a long word, so it became more expensive. Dangerous is also a long word, so it became more dangerous, right? Hmm, what about good and bad? They're different, right? Good became better and bad became worse. Why is that? Why does this happen? We call these irregular comparatives. So they are different from the uh, normal adjective form. Okay? So remember these. Good becomes better and bad becomes worse. All right? In any of those cases, we always use then when we want to compare two things. All right? So remember the balls? The Red ball is smaller than, or actually bigger, right? The red ball is bigger than the blue ball, okay? Okay, guys, now for exercise three, you have a list of adjectives, and then you should write the comparative form of them, okay? So, uh, exciting, for example, it's a long word, right? Uh, how do we turn it into the comparative form? Do you remember? 
think about it, write them on your notebook, and then in a second I'll go back to show you the answers. Very well, so let's check it. Exciting becomes more exciting. Slow becomes slower. Difficult becomes more difficult. Happy becomes happier. Safe becomes safer. Funny becomes funnier. Hot becomes hotter. And fast becomes faster. Okay? Right. So now let's choose four of the adjectives from the exercise above, exercise three, and try to make sentences with them. Okay? Uh, here we have an example. Well, number four. Planes are quicker than ferries. Okay? So think about everything we talked about um, transport and then use it to make sentences. All right? And I'll see you later for the next video. Bye-bye.